Well, this is it then, the end of the season. Uh, this is March the 14th. I'm fishing uh, my favourite uh, river, and that's the, the Hampshire Haven. I've come down here for the day to see if I could catch a, a chub or two, and uh, the conditions are pretty ideal. They're, um, yeah, they're reasonably cold, uh, about 10 degrees, and I've got to say, there's a bit of a cold northerly wind, but uh, hey, <laughs> it's a nice uh, sunny day, which is uh, important. Yeah, so I'm going to use swim feeder as uh, the method and maggots on the hook and we'll, uh, we'll see how we get on. But as I say, last day of the season, keep my fingers crossed that uh, we, won't, uh, we won't get a blank and we might catch a, a chub or two. Let's see how we get on. Well, that's where I'm casting, just against the, uh, the trees over there. Uh, the chub love to hang around there. It's probably about three feet deep and full of gravel, gravel bottom. It's absolutely a fantastic swim for fish. Well, a lot of time with these uh, with these chubs and the bites you get. They're just uh, the occasional pluck and the occasional pull on the maggots. You can see that on the uh, the rod tip sometimes. So it's the last day of the season, and here I am. I'm uh, got this lovely uh, chub here. This one is uh, five pound twelve ounces. Uh, really pleased with it. Caught on a plastic maggot and <laughs> a feeder. I use a plastic maggot to uh, to keep the minnows away, really. So. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's slip her back and see if I can catch another. So this is the second of today. I had another one of about four, four and a half pound before. So uh, so really clever. Anyway, let's slip her back. We are. This is uh, the hook bird inside a plastic maggot. It's a really good way to uh, to stop the minnows from bothering your day. So you can see that I've uh, just cast out. I've. Uh, just put the uh, camcorders on, just to see if we can get a few uh, bites. You can see where they keep pulling the blooming maggots and you'll see the rod tip bouncing around quite a bit. That's actually a fish. <laughs> oh no, it's off. I've struck into a fish and uh, I've got a chub on, which is really good. Doesn't feel a particularly big fish. But I have to say that it's certainly shaking its head. Bloody hell. The line's singing as well. Doesn't get much better than this, really. I've got my landing net parked just downstream. I've got to admit, my netsman, Andy Cowley, he arrived just as I got the bite. So perfect timing, Andy. Yeah, it's only a little one. But it's a, it's a chub, nevertheless. Third one of the day. So I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, he's probably about three pounds, I should think. Yeah, it might be a little bit more. No, about three pounds, I think.
There we go, that's another tap, you probably just saw it. So they're still chub around and they're still having a, a tug at that maggot. There's another strong pull. They just hold them in the lips, that's the, that's the problem with it really. And then they just back off and, and that, that's what happens. So I'm just hoping that every now and again one will make a mistake and uh, that Magalina will uh, will hook one. Well, I'm into a another fish, another chub. Feels like a a good fish. Hold in and stand very deep in the river. Line singing a bit. He's snagged on something at the minute. I don't know quite what that is. No, he's off. Oh, it looks a good fish. Yeah, it does look a good fish. Oh, the line's singing. That's really nice. I love it when it does that. Oh, it's not a bad fish at all. Oh. Well, that was a good, uh, a good effort, not. Right, come on, up you come. Don't like bringing you up, but I think you'll be okay. Here we go. Oh yeah, lovely chub. Fat as well. Ah, oh, marvellous. Well, this has got to be one of the shortest, fattest chub I have ever seen. This is uh, five pounds three ounces. But what a fatty! Look at that! Absolutely filled to the brim. What a lovely fish! Absolutely fantastic. Five three. Anyway, let's slip her back. That's it, I'm in. Phil's a powerful fish, this one. Yeah, he's really going for the, uh, he's really going for the trees on the opposite bank. But he's mine now, that's it. Once you get them out in the flow, it's, uh, it's perfect. It's not a problem, so. Uh, my goodness, it's windy. Feels quite a good fish, actually. Won't know until we see her. Oh, it's not a bad fish. Just lead her down to the uh, to the net. Oh gosh. quite a flow here. Well, this is a really nice chub. This is uh, £5.15, not very long, but incredibly deep and in perfect conditions for the uh, for the end of the season. Hopefully you got the bite and are playing another fish. Uh, really, 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 really pleased. Caught on the last day of the season, but uh, hey-ho. Let's, uh, let's slip it back. I've had a grand day. Well, this one is... Uh, 
This one's five pounds, uh, eight ounces. A really long fish, but uh, nowhere near as fat as the, uh, the last one, which is really porky and definitely eating all the pies. But uh, nevertheless, it's, uh, it's a good fish, another five. So I think that's, uh, I think it could be four fives uh, for the day, but I need to cal calculate that and just have another look. But uh, I'm not complaining, and we've probably still got another uh, 40 minutes to go, but uh, let's slip her back. Well, that's it. That's uh, the sun setting on another season. It's been quite a good year, really. I've had some really good fish. And today I've done reasonably well. I've had uh, four chub over uh, five pounds, so that's uh, pretty good, really. So I've been quite uh, pleased with that. But yeah, end of another season. Until next year, on the Hampshire Haven, June the 16th, back on here again. Fantastic. So, thanks for watching my, uh, all my videos this year. I've enjoyed making them. I've got a few plans for, uh, for next year and what I'm going to do, but uh, I'll share those with you a little bit later. What a lovely sunset that is.